everybody, to day two of the round two of the grand playoffs here between CJ Anthes and the Gen Air Green Wings. Hero is just able to cheese out Rogue on Echo this time around. And now Gen Air has to come up with another answer. Time to send out the short man. Time to bring out Baru. I think that's, that's all they have to choose from, right? I'd be surprised if it's anyone else, but we could be wrong. I mean, Maru hasn't been the, the most well-rounded player at the end of this year. In this kind of situation, maybe not the best choice. We'll have to wait and see what they got planned. True. I mean, it could it could really be, uh, you know, several other players. It could be SOS, but I think that's a mistake. Look, guess who yeah. it is? This is kind of interesting. I mean, we talked about how he's very versatile, but uh, I said it before. I, I don't want to see this guy in a PvP up against Hero. It's too volatile. He's too good against other players, namely Bjell. And I don't know. I mean, I guess Maru's okay against Biel as well, but mm. I, I like SOS better in that matchup. Well, you know, the thing to remember is this guy did kill uh, Zest and Stats in the last match. I don't doubt his PvP, and I actually still highly favor him versus Hero, but I feel like it's still like the riskier choice. I feel like Maru is a much safer, smarter choice on this map of all maps. You know, this map. Against a Protoss, as Maru, who is fantastic against Protoss, and then SOS, as I said before, is great against Biel. I, I, I don't really get this one, guys. Well, the thing that I can make sense of is that it's going to force out Biel on Captain's Valley against SOS, and then Maru gets Bonnie Research in the ace match, or something like that. Well, it kind of makes sense, but I mean, that, you're, that line of thinking that you just said kind of makes sense. If they lose SOS here, though, Hero gets a lot of momentum. He's already taken a win with the Cannon Rush. If he beats SOS, who's on a tear, then that gives CJ a ton of momentum going into the last initial match. And you're putting Maru against so much pressure, having to win two in a row against both Ace players from CJ. Regardless, guys, let's jump straight to game number five now on Terraform between Hero and SOS. Up here in the top left in the yellow, winning that last game from CJ Antis, the Protoss player. He is hero. And to the bottom right in green for Jane Eyre Green Wings. They bring out dollar sign O dollar sign SOS, the all killer. And you know, it feels like a risky choice. But it's one of those risks that if SOS can defeat Hero, really pays off because SOS is well suited to deal with Biel as well as you mentioned. So if he does defeat Hero here, it kind of then further shows less strategies. Maybe Maru, you know, we keep talking about Maru potentially having risk problems. It seems to be the case, right? And maybe he can rest up. He also doesn't show any strategies going into later the the grand finals. Yeah, give him one game. Give him the give him Vani research if he needs to be on there. It's gonna let him go for that mech style. So, yeah, SOS can very well close this out, though. He, he did it against KT in a uh, very impressive fashion. He's really in form right now. He's looking fantastic. Is he going to pull a Sora here? He's looking to wall off, but he didn't go for a 10-gate, so I don't think yeah, so. He's 11 also chronoing. Gate. 11 gate coming out here, so it's not going to be quite as far ahead as Sora's gate was. Hmm. It could be... It could just not be a tight wall, but I think it, it should be if he's planning it like this. If you tight wall... Is, is me when I see a tight wall, which I do see us on a Korean ladder every now and then, especially when I was playing a ton uh, back in Wings of Liberty, it's always almost always DTs, Koreans, when they do this, because you can't probe scout, they rush out the DTs very quickly, and you think it's going to be something else, maybe like a four gate, you don't get detection, you just die. Um, it could also be that he really wants to pressure with a forward stalker off of a faster gate, and maybe even a second stalker, control the, the middle of the map with stalkers. Oh, looks like it is going to be that block. Interesting. But this time he's got two gases, so... Hmm. Well, let's take a look at this. CJ Antis, Czech Republic supports you. Really cool to see so many fans from the Czech Republic down here. Yeah, take your revenge, they say. Let's see if they'll be able to do it this time around. Yeah, give us a day three. Let's, let's see another uh, match tomorrow. It would be great if they could do that. I'd be happy for it. All right, let's see how this goes. The probe is going up to the top of the map currently. It's going to sneak down now through the middle. And SOS's probe is going to see the tight wall. But he's going to see the Cybernetics Core's finishing timing. And news, it's not the same timing that we saw before. It's going to be the same double chrono, but this is not the same timing. It's, it's not what we saw yesterday from Sora. Yeah, not quite. 
I like that the probe is out on the map here, hidden for Hero. He has potential to put down, you know, forward pylons. He could, you know, well, pretty much only that. You know, at this point, he's probably not going to go for any kind of proxy. He only has that one probe, though, and if he messes it up, that's it, because it's the only thing he's got. Mm, look at that Stargate in the main base for SOS as well. So he's not going to be proxying anything with his probe, just kind of scouting for any sort of proxies here he might have done, and then probably going to try for a scout in the main base. This is odd, uh, to say the least. Maybe it's a mind game. Maybe he wants SOS. I think it's going to be that kind of early aggression. Uh-oh. Stalker walking into the line. Sight blocker without knowing what's there. Oh, man. Going to take a bit of damage here. Get an extra shot. One more. This is terrifying right now for SOS if he thinks it's the same build that Sora did yesterday because he's like, oh, God, I already lost a lot of hit points on my Mothership Core and my Stalker. And while wow, he's going to actually even fake it with the probe, too, maybe even. Well, this is not a bad place for him to be in, though. You know, he's going for two more gateways. He's got the Stalker advantage right now. And he should have enough to kind of defend this Oracle that here is made in his main. Mm, snipes the probe as well. So he can be pretty safe and sound back here. This is crazy what we're seeing from Hero. Like, actually crazy. I mean, it's, it's, you almost think it'd be SOS doing this kind of right? style, right? I mean, he's he's going... I mean, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, mirror magic. But he's going into a Twilight Council behind an Oracle. He's trying to be so out there with what he's doing in this mind game that, that SOS just doesn't know what the hell to think. And I think that's kind of what's going on here. He's like, what are you doing? You still don't have a Nexus. The Oracle should be defended easily. It should be in this kind of situation, but everything out of position right now. Oh, SOS not paying attention. He's not going to expect this for sure. Let's see how many kills he can get. The Pokemon Overcharge is going to start immediately. He's only going to be able to get three kills here. Well, one base versus one base. I suppose that's still a decent position for him here. Um, oh, oh counterattack here. And this Pylon, I don't think he can actually deny this. He's going to kill the Probe. Oh, but here come those Stalkers. This could Stalker. Do a lot. Oh, he goes for the line of sight blocker trap again. Hero's going to come ahead of that one, take down another Stalker here. SOS. Or rather, SOS. <laughs> <laughs> SOS, <laughs> man. It's go he's going six Stalkers to two. This is a really bad situation for Hero. Oh, another Warman. Look at all these Stalkers. They're trapped outside. They can't go back in. <laughs> a huge mistake here from Hero. They can't go back in. That's got to be it. That's I mean, game he's got over. nothing. He's wow. got no Mothership Core. He's got one Oracle. It's coming back into the main base now. Don't think it's going to get enough damage done. The Mothership Core is not here, but he warps in two more Stalkers. No a chance. really questionable build here from Hero. Very out there build against someone like SOS, but SOS knows how to deal with it. He is such an experienced player, and he's such a wonky player that he's right at home fighting against it. Yeah. Turns out SOS was the exact right pick here against Hero, and he's going to run away with this game for sure. All the probes going down, and nothing left over for Hero. Oh, the dance. The dance of the, the stalkers. Dance. The crowd is loving it. GG. GG. SOS takes a win, and now... CJ on their last life. Be careful on the way out there, man. You gotta play the next game. Yeah, you gotta kill Young, the remaining eighth player for CJ. I don't think it would ever be anyone else at this point. You know, I, I just don't even have anything good to say about that build. He's forcing, he's being so aggressive, making it look like it's a, a, an all in with gateways. He's forcing his opponent to stay in the main base where he's gonna run an Oracle in. He's yeah. like basically saying, like, stay in your main. Get defend, and then he sends an oracle. And he's like, "Oh wait, he's still in the main." <laughs> Nothing about that build makes sense. He goes through a Twilight Council and the blink. He's got his stalkers on the warp and on the outside. That was a huge mistake. I think that was a nerve issue there. Stalkers can't retreat. Uh, he panicked. He knew there were a ton of stalkers on the map. He also saw that probe there that was making the pylon in his face. I think maybe he was expecting to see Mario or something like that, and he didn't. He pulled out a crazy PUB build versus uh, SOS instead. But that was just not a good game for Hero. And there's no, there's like literally nothing else I can say. I can't even sugarcoat this. I can't say it was a weird game. That's the bottom line for sure. Uh, certainly uncharacteristic of Hero as well. I guess maybe a little desperate against someone like SOS. Yeah. Trying to play the, the same kind of game, but just not working out. But maybe CJ does have one last shot at this, and that's Biel on Cactus Valley. That's certainly a favorable match for Biel if he can actually perform well in yeah. GDP. If he can perform like he does uh, when he takes wins off of guys like Heroes in the finals, and when he when he does fantastic in this matchup as he did in the past, but after what we saw of him yesterday against SOS, I mean, SOS has been so on fire, no one could take this guy out, really. And after taking that win against Hero, making him look silly from that build, I, I highly favor SOS in this matchup. Yeah.
And I think using anybody but Biel, despite his lack of results in recent times, is just a mistake. I mean, even with his loss in Star League, his questionable plays yesterday, three Hydro is then uh, build. He's still a DSL finalist right now, back to back, as well as being a Sully finalist. There's no yeah. doubting this guy's skills. If he can be in the right mindset today, he can take these wins and bring us to a day three. But I have to agree with you, Valdez. You know, I'm putting my money on SOS in this uh, encounter. Yeah, I'm certainly favoring him, too. He's being just on another level this entire playoffs. Uh, he's looking fantastic, looking like the, the SOS of 2014, to yeah. be honest. He's really come back and perform in a big way. Don't know what they're feeding him in the team house nowadays, but it's working. And uh, as I said before, just to touch on this once again, with only one player left for CJ's playoff life on the line, I think it has to be Joe. I don't think you can send out funny.